Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, the sneaker fiend. Now today we're gonna be talking about the Nike Stranger Things OG pack. But before we get into it, make sure if you're new to the channel, you subscribe, hit the like button if you like the content, follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23. It's your boy Breezy Kicks, let's get it. Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. All right, guys. So the Nike Stranger Things collab, this OG pack, a.k.a. Independence Day pack. So in this pack, you got three different models. The Nike Tailwind, the Nike Cortez, and the Nike Blazer High. So this pack is a red, white, and blue Independence Day theme. So the Blazer High comes blue, the Nike Cortez is red, and then the Tailwind is white. Now I'm gonna talk about where you can get these, what I think resale will be, all that good stuff later. But before we get into it, let's just talk about these sneakers. Starting off with the Cortezes, comes in a all red upper, White hint on the Nike swoosh, the tag on the tongue, the heel section, and the mid and outsole. Besides that, this is a full red sneaker. I personally do not like Cortez's in any color. I just think this is a weird looking shoe, but a lot of people like them. And an all red sneaker, I think a lot of people are going to be digging this. The quality looks to be really good. So if you're a Cortez fan and you want an all red version of them this is going to be the sneaker to go for now on the hill section it has 1985 now i just got to say real quick i don't know anything about stranger things so i don't know if the 1985 has something to do with the show i honestly just don't know i'm pretty sure the trailblazers came out in 85 so maybe all these sneakers came out in 85 i'm not too sure i could be wrong correct me if you guys know comment down below let me know all the good information these just aren't doing it for me i personally don't like cortez's period so these are a hard pass uh retail 120 and i didn't mention these all are dropping on july 12th that is a friday july 12th each sneaker is a hundred and twenty dollars retail let's talk about these tailwinds next uh i don't really know too much about the tailwind uh model i've never messed with them but i honestly just don't like the look it looks a lot like the cortez's the whole model just just that style of sneaker i'm not a fan of i don't like too many low top sneakers i don't like the pointy toe section it's just not doing it for me the materials on here look very dope though i will say that the upper has this like weird fabric type material that i'm actually really digging nike swoosh looks like some nice quality leather so that is definitely a plus these also have 1985 on the back this shoe is primarily white but it does have hints of blue and red which is pretty dope and really fits this whole theme of the Independence Day. I really like the insoles on this sneaker. Uh, it just has a solid white and it just says Stranger Things in there. Pretty simple and I think it just looks good. Again, these aren't for me either. I just, I can't get over the model, the colorway, the quality, everything's looking nice and 120 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So if you're a fan of the Tailwind models, then by all means, this might be the sneaker for you to go for. It's a collab. Uh, the quality looks on point. I don't think you can go wrong. I saved the best for last, in my opinion at least, the Blazer Highs. This comes in an all blue suede upper. Quality is on point. Now, the Nike Blazer Highs are a big favorite. They're a simple go-to essential sneaker that a lot of people like. And 120 is always a great deal for an essential sneaker. That blue suede on this shoe really makes it pop. I really think a lot of people are gonna like this sneaker. It's a collab with Stranger Things, so that's pretty dope. I'm not a fan of Stranger Things, but it's always cool when Nike collabs with really anyone. I love collaborations, I think they are dope. It's a way to bring more people into the sneaker community, so it's a big plus for me. I think these are really dope. Yeah, so primarily blue upper, you got hints of white on the Nike swoosh, back on the heel section, and the midsole and outsole. It has pretty much the same insole as those Tailwinds, just that simple Stranger Things with a white insole. It's got the 1985 on the back as well. So again, I don't know anything about Stranger Things, but they clearly have something with July 4th, Parade Prep begins, the Hawkins Post, 
I think that's the high school in the show. I could be wrong, but there's a lot of clothing being dropped and it says like Hawkins High School. So I imagine that has to do with the show. Uh, I could be wrong, correct me if I am wrong. Yeah, you got like pins. I don't know if these come with the sneakers, but it's Stranger Things, Welcome to Hawkins, a uh, little camp shirt little pin right there as well guessing this is the box that they are going to come in and it's going to come with these extras so that is always dope and a cool little plus so yeah the blue blazer highs are my favorite out of this collection and let's just talk about where you can cop these sneakers app is going to be the go-to for this one i'm not too sure about any other places dropping them but sneakers app is probably going to be the main place to go for these so make sure you have the sneakers app make sure you have everything situated your fingerprint all that good stuff so it's a nice easy checkout and you can get the sneakers now i can see the blazers selling out and out of all three of these colorways, I think they are the only one with resale potential. I think the other two, really, you're going to be able to buy around uh, retail. So the Tailwinds on StockX right now are going for about $150, only $30 over retail. Honestly, after release, you're really not going to get any resale. And I think if you want the shoe, it might be best to wait a bit and cop it for under retail through StockX. Now, as the Cortezes, they are at 180 right now, but I definitely think they're gonna drop. If I can really see this shoe being around retail after release, maybe $10 over, I highly doubt that. I think it's gonna stay around retail and you should be good to cop these. I don't even know if the Cortezes and the Tailwinds will sell out. I think the Blazer Highs have the best chance of selling out and having resale potential. And on StockX, the Blazer Highs are going for around 200, give or take 10, 20 dollars. Definitely will drop after the release, but this is a dope shoe and if it sells out, it's gonna hold a little bit of value over retail. I'm guessing 150 to 200, so really not bad. If you do miss out on release day, I think you will be able to cop these for a pretty good price. It might be a little over retail, but it really isn't that bad. 150 for this shoe is actually pretty good. 120 is amazing, so hopefully you can get it on release date. Let me know what do you guys think of the sneakers? What do you think of this collab? Do you think it's kind of weird? I've heard a lot of people say it's weird to collab with a TV show. And when they did their whole little secret unveiling of the collab, uh, I can't remember where it was located, but a lot of people camped out and ended up, they thought it was gonna be something hyped and it ended up being this and a lot of people were pissed. I honestly think that itself, that little stunt by Nike ruined the potential on this collab. A lot of people were pissed right out the gate and pretty much just said, I don't want anything to do with it. Screw you, Nike. I honestly think Nike screwed themselves over on this collab that's just my opinion do you think there will be any resell in any of these sneakers again if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that like button it's your boy Reese kicks we out